I'm starting out why I chose this subject. The composition is very good. There's a repetition of small vertical tree trunk shapes, some dark, some light in value. There's an interesting skyline with trees of different heights and dimension. This shape is repeated in the water. I also like the way the light falls over the grasses and to the bush on the left. There are a few things I'll change for the painting. I moved the White House closer to the bridge area. This is because the eye normally goes to where the lightest light meets the darkest dark. Here, because the house is small, white against a larger dark. The white sky against the darker green does draw the eye, but not as much as the house. I'm going to darken the area in the lower left corner as I don't want the light leading out of a corner. I'm running the first section at a normal speed. Then the rest is speeded up a bit. Remember, if you're learning from this demo, slow down and take some care, especially in the small details. When I first start out recording a painting project like this, my movements are always kind of jerky as I don't want to mess it up. I'm fully aware that the camera is on and it takes a while to get in the groove of the painting where I forget about the camera. This same holds true, true with my voiceover, so bear with me. I'm starting out with the green trees using phthalo yellow green and permanent sap green. I want a light, juicy mixture. My brush is a medium-sized mop which holds a lot of water. I could just as easily use a flat or a large round. The paper is flat on the table, so what is put on the paper does not run down. I'm putting in a juicy wash, burying the greens. While the paper is still wet, I drop in a little new gambos. This is a very light, very pretty yellow. I change brushes off and on trying to get a feel for which one works the best for the specific area I'm working on. Usually for the small negative areas, I want to make sure the brush is pointed, but sometimes I'll use the side of the flat. If I don't like something, I'll try to wipe it out, either with a brush or a tissue or paper towel. I'm painting some negative shapes that will eventually be some white of the tree trunks. I change color quite often. What you're seeing is painting in real time. It has not been speeded up at this point.
I have changed to a flat brush. Sometimes this lets me cover a larger area at a time. It also allows me to paint using the side of the brush to get little areas, especially if you want to leave small white spaces. I'm painting around where the building is going to be. I'm trying to keep that interesting shape of the trees. decided to move the palette over by the painting. I didn't realize at the time that it would be in the image. You can really see how I mixed the paint on the palette this way. I continue adding the green trees, varying the color and the size of the trees. I drop in some color on the wet paint and it will merge with the color already there. painting is now dry and I'm putting it in the sky. I've also speeded up the... kind of wish I had put the sky in first, but I didn't, so I'll have to live with it. I'm using a watery Windsor Blue. I've added some permanent rose to get a nice violet. wiping up some of the paint because I want the area down the, that goes to the bridge still white. The sky is all painted wet and wet. I'm starting in the water area. Right near the bridge, it will be white, then slowly get darker as it moves down the paper. 
I dug in the areas, not really knowing what I want, just putting the paint down and hoping it will turn out. If it looks too dark, I lighten it with water. I keep adding color and then thinning it out some more. I can't really seem to get it what I want it to be. I add some green as reflections from the trees above. Keep, I keep wiping out. can't really seem to get it just how I want it to be. Lift the paper hoping that I can get a nice smooth looking blue. It's not moving so I add some more paint and then I'll add some more water just to get it to move around a bit. It's moved, moving slightly, more so when I turn it almost vertical 